Yo yo, how's it going guys? Yeah, here we are at um, AOR Season 12 Round 10, Round Silverstone. We're on board now with my qualifying lap on the medium tyres. Currently sitting in 5th position, going on our second lap. About, I think about a tenth down already coming into Turn 3. Which is not ideal of course, but we're going to make sure, or try and at least make sure to gain that back and hopefully set a much better than lap much better lap than what we set which is a 30.8 I believe but Martin set a 30.3 on the same set of tyres so our plan was to at least match that or better it if we can into La Field now we gain that time back and we come out now about round round the same time like the Delta went up green but I think it's around a hundred for something off into corpse now. I knew I'd gain time here because I made a mistake the lap before, so I gained about half a tenth round there. Coming into maggots now, keep it nice and tidy, hitting the apexes, hitting all four apexes actually. But we run slightly wide, which you can see on the delta, it was going a bit down, and all that work we put into maggots and beckets we lost on the exit. So yeah, into stow now, we gain at least half a tenth or something back. And I knew in these last two corners I'd gain a lot because I made mistakes here early as well. But yeah, there you go, you can see my delta it goes up to two tenths, three tenths. Coming across the line with a 30.5. Not the best lap, my personal best was about a 30.0. Something like that, which would have put me like in a good position. It would have been the best like medium lap I believe but that is not that is not what we should talk about right now what, what happened is what happened and we're sitting in sick position on medium tyres going out the seventh now as Cupid just about beats us also on the medium tyre which was which was great to see at least but I don't know what to say to be honest he's a, he's a quick driver so it's a great lap for him but watching on board on my brother's lap now, my teammate also, STS and Juan Alonso, he's, he's about three tenths up on my time and I genuinely couldn't believe that, like no disrespect to him or anything but when we were practicing like we, we had the decent gap between us, like three four tenths but when I saw he was three tenths up on my time I just couldn't believe it so I just thought I'd just not talk on the party chat or whatever to him, just let him concentrate and he grows a, goes across the line and gets a poor like sector 3 but still right behind me which is great to see great to see that he can actually like get decent laps now because these I think Spain and Russia too he's setting brilliant laps there so yeah that's great to see and now like the results you can see that we're 8th and 9th on the grid 4th and 5th technically with them as the medium runners so yeah I thought us starting together is will be a good thing because we can work as a team to defend from guys like TR Limitless, Se Sierra and that which is which is my current like nearest title rival so yeah I thought I was talking to him talking to my brother on party chat saying like this is good like we could work together and everything but yeah just, it was honestly good to see that he can set a good lap like that just really good I hope he can carry on doing that because that will be very very helpful now out front especially we could we could definitely work as a team 100 percent but yeah going into this race i was aiming for a podium and that's no lie because the slip stream on this track is absolutely horrifying it's just it's so bad like and it's a bit like spa but like it's just ridiculous so i knew like <laughs> podium would be a good result. Anyway, coming into the start now, five lights, and here we go. Still in eighth position, but there you go. The pulse to trees. He gets like that lag glitch starts, at which his lights didn't go out good. But he spins with Lucky Dog, and we we back off so we can, so we can um. And yeah, just, I didn't even have time to talk to him. There you go. Like we got knocked out, and we lose our wing. We lose our wing too. My right, end plate. And that's our race ruined in about 10 seconds, which is a real shame, because that's 
that's just in my opinion that's really harsh because I did my best to avoid every sort of collision and I still get wiped out but yeah uh, we go past a slow car and we get told that it was an illegal overtake which is complete bollocks by Codemasters like sorry but just no it's a slow car I'm allowed to go past a slow car but apparently it's an illegal overtake which we give back the position so we don't get any sort of ridiculous penalty and I lose about one or two seconds by doing that and you'll see at the end of the race that those those two seconds will like matter a lot to our race result either way <laughs> going to maggots now with a broken left end plate and I think that's Stu yeah that's Stu coming out of Beckett so I think he had a collision with someone yeah just following these two and dead last 20th out of 20 drives is ridiculous like still can't believe it but it is what it is this is league racing coming into the pits now choosing the hard tyres make sure we hit the speed limits I'm very cautious into the I'm always cautious into every time but just that time I think it was a bit too cautious but yeah we're looking in the race director and it's painful to see Tyrell Martin third, Cupid fifth, like Ciaru seventh, just my title rivals just all the way up there, like just chilling. Probably gonna get like a decent result, like really good result, especially with the other guys being on the soft tyres. They had like no offence to them, but I think their strategy was just not the right one. I knew they would like get robbed down the road because two stop is way slower than one stop. It's about 26, 27 seconds pit stop, so that extra pit stop it's not worth it in my opinion but yeah <coughs> coming out of the pits now on lap 2 still in 20th which is it's just probably not a shock but yeah you can see guys now in maggots and beckets and they're not even the leaders they're like I think about 5th or 6th and yeah there's my brother there he's in about I think it was 9th or 10th so the leaders probably like already at Stowe or like coming into maybe Vale now and we're here on the right like we still have to pit again they they have to pit at least once as well but we have to pit, pit at least once as well and we're already about 50 seconds behind and you can see now I think this is when yeah there you go Rosberg crosses the line and we're about 51 51 seconds behind I think it was anyway I could be wrong could be 45 I can't see properly but about 45 50 seconds behind and we're on lap 2 Coming out of a, uh, cutting on to like lap 10 now. In 16th, we somehow gained a bit of his, like some positions. I think Ciaru was in the pits, Ciaru Hamilton too. Cupid comes out the pits, which was a bit surprising to see because I thought he would have stayed out to like lap 11 or lap 12. Because, yeah, because he was going for a one stop too, so I thought it was a bit too early to pit on lap 9. Not sure if he went to the end on those tyres, but. It that would be very like I think amazing if he went 17 laps on those hard tyres anyway <laughs> our aim here was just to stick behind him carry the like slipstream and the RS just stick it stay with that so we can gain some time because uh, my tyres were about 10 laps older than his so I knew I had no chance even if I overtook him like somehow there was no chance I was staying ahead because these tyres just not not good enough but yeah, my aim is just here at the moment. My aim is just to get the RS and stay as much as I can. So I gain that extra undeserved time. But yeah, and we'll get the DRS, we'll stick into rich fuel. And yeah, we, we, you can see there how much we gain. I think at least two or three tenths we gained. At least. And he goes wide. We go wide too. And yeah, good to see that I still had the gap try and stick in the stick like stick with this gap as much as I can at least have DRS into into um into the first DRS zone which was which is about two or three corners time and there you go I think that's Stu coming at the pace and Cupid goes down the inside and makes the move stick I think it was a bit too optimistic but still a well well done move like I think not many of us would have gone for that but he went for it and went made it stick which is fair play to him so we still got the RS and you can see that 45% front left is 
yeah, we have no chance. Like their Stu coming out of the pits was zero percent tire whereas we had no chance against these guys. But yeah, just to stick in that, managing to managing to be right behind these guys, which is it, which is which was enough for me. And yeah, cutting on to lap 12 now, still behind with the slipstream and the DRS. And there you go, Martin sets the fastest lap. I bet, I, I think he's already pit. So that that's him going across the line, already pitted, and we still have to pit again. And just that just that made it so painful because there was <laughs> there was nothing I could have done more. Just I'm pushing to the maximum here. I never give up. So even whatever happened on lap one, I just put that behind and made sure these l next 25 laps were maximum attack. No mistakes. Just go for it and see what happens. But yeah. Still running 14 position now. Got the arrows. I think that's Andrew right behind us on fresh tyres too. So if he got close enough to me, I would have probably let him go because there was no point battling. He was just on much fresher tyres. Still like on still on lap 13, like three laps after these th after these two come out the pits, and I'm still right behind him, which was a bit weird because I would have thought like I would have pulled away straight away. But anyway, on to the straight now and. Stu goes around the outside of Cupid and they stick together. The cars stick together and they go completely wide. Gifted me like two positions straight away. But I knew still them two didn't have to pit again, so I wasn't getting too excited about it. But anyway, on to lap 14 now. I believe we're coming to the pits now. Choose the medium tyres. Again, two quarters into the pits. We're way slower than we should, but. It's better than getting a tight um a drive through because of the speeding. But anyway, we we look now and I can see my brother in fifth position, already pitted, and that's really good for him because he would at least get top three. We look onto TR Limit as now if he has any warnings or time penalties. Same with uh Sierra, I believe. Yeah, there you go. We look there as well. <coughs> Just wanted to make sure that if there are time penalties, it will be best at the end of the race that we don't. Go for risk moves, risky moves like last lap moves and stuff like that, which would have been worthless, especially if they had time penalties. Because I always, I always um, make sure I don't get any time penalties, and I had any, I had no warnings coming on. Like even on lap 15, now I had no warnings at all, so I knew I'd, I'd most probably be finishing with no time penalties. So that was important for me to check if they had any. But yeah, on to lap 17 now. I think we're behind Sierra Rosberg now. I'm on medium tyres, much softer tyres than him, and about five or six tenths difference with these tyres. So I knew I'd be gaining mad behind him. Also, it's good to see him back. Forgot to mention that he had to take some time off because his internet was causing all sorts of all sorts of trouble in like about four or five races which was good from him to see to back out and most of the drivers respected that the abuse he got in comments is in the comments and that just wasn't right because he did nothing wrong there was nothing he could have done and the best thing he did was back out of these races but now that his in internet connection is fine it's good to see him back because he is a good driver he's, he does deserve to race in Tier 1, especially in AOR, just, yeah, but anyway, lap 18 now, we've got DRS into rich mix fuel, we think about going down the inside, and yeah, we make it stick, he's still down the outside, we give him enough room, going through a field now, side by side, I know I had better tyres so I can get better traction, go on the exit curb slightly, which wasn't my plan, but still made it stick, he's still right, right behind us, look in my right mirror, See if he's still there, but we had he wasn't um, close enough, so we just turned in like he wasn't there, which we wasn't. But anyway, yeah, into Beckett's now. Coming out of Beckett's, made sure we got a decent exit, which we do. And look at this gap now, about four tenths, I think that's gap that that gap is. And I'm looking in my mirror now. I'm looking in my mirror now. Can I see him? Can I see him? I can see him gaining so much. He sticks his car on the inside. And I'm thinking. Nah, no chance, mate. Like, no, sorry, but <laughs> there's no way that someone's gonna overtake me from like four or five tenths behind. Just that's just ridiculous. But yeah, we managed to keep him behind, and yeah, onto lap 19 now. 
well, we cut like, we cut on to 21. I, think, I believe that's Lucky Dog in the snow door bats in the head, which we, you'd see like how much we gained through that one corner because them two were just battling at least half a second or something. But yeah, <coughs> making sure here we get a decent exit, which we do. And look at this, just look at this. DRS rich mixed fuel. I'm running the same wings as Lucky Dog. I can confirm that we'll run the same wings, and he's just pulling away. This game makes no sense. I had double slipstream, and he still pulls away. It's just yeah, that is frustrating. And right, anyway, these two battling. I'm just putting my car in a safe place so I don't get knocked out. And there you see, I think that was a slight bit of lag, which made me like kind of pussy out really because I just didn't want any sort of contact any sort of lag contact and I just didn't want it so just backed out I just turned to the left made the steering straighter so we didn't get any closer than what we were but yeah still making sure I've got DRS coming out this corner now just look at this right just look at this rich fix mi rich mix fuel and then like slipstream DRS and nothing just nothing I just can't believe it and snow the like spins and we just about avoid that that was a tricky one I think my reaction time there was absolutely spot on because I saw him spinning as I was changing down my fu fuel mix and I was like left or right left or right and just went to the right either way we had to make that time back that we lost the lucky dog and we did on the, on the next lap now lap 23 got the RS coming into the field now right behind him trying to make sure I'm going a bit wide so I can cut back in and get a decent exit which I do but I, I get s slight snap of oversteer which sends me onto the exit curb but still look at this rich mix fuel like sip I barely gain anything yeah I do gain a bit which is just not as much as the others would gain on me and we're running the same wings this makes no sense at all but anyway into Beckett's now here, let's just look at this. Great exit, DRS, rich fix, I'm just barely gaining anything. But in all honesty, that is how it should be. That is that is how the stip stream should be. Like even in normal conditions, that's how it should be. But as we know from this game, it's just not like that. It's, it was only with me in this race, and I had this in back as well, where the slipstream would be less effect effective on mine than any others it just didn't make sense but if they can make it I'd like it to be like that it's just hard harder to overtake you don't feel like you're getting gifted when you when you're overtaking like when you're overtaking like that because I got a decent exit out there got slipstream DRS and yeah and they got enough slipstream to go past him but yeah it's just it wasn't like the OP slipstream that we've seen at tracks like Spa, um, Baku, Austria, tracks like that, where just you st you're half a second behind someone and just gain massively into like uh, up, up until like the end of the straight. And you saw earlier, like with Sierra Rosberg, how much he gained on me. I'm not sure what wings he was running, but I'm pretty sure he was running like 7.62 or maybe 6.5, but nothing less than that. Anyway, <laughs> on to lap 26, last lap, TR Martin wins, great drive from him, I think that's that's probably the best way he could have come back after having s so many bad runner races, just pure bad luck, especially in Austria, just the guy just got so much bad luck and just couldn't do anything about it, and yeah, winning this race is actually happy for me to see because he does deserve that. Anyway, lucky dog going around the outside here, into Stowe. He goes slightly wide and he goes onto the exit cup, spins into me and bounces off me and just goes wide. I think he's spun actually. Yeah, you can see on the map that he's spun over, which was a shame for him, but either way, we come across the line in 12th position, but we move up to 9th. That's when I said, like, it is crucial to be, like, to make sure if there are time penalties, I, I could, like, st stick in that 3 second window and just make sure. I get that position because I knew I wasn't getting time penalties. But either way, Martin ends up winning that race comfortably. Just, that's that's great drive from him. Ends up finishing about 20 seconds ahead of second place, which is my brother, by the way. <laughs> Good job from him getting tw 18 points for Williams. 
That's brilliant from him. First podium in AOR2. Cuban in third. We have Limitless in eighth and me in ninth. And there you go, like finish about four tenths behind after his time penalty. And this is what I meant earlier with Mike Marshmallow when I had to let him pass on lap one, I believe. Those one, two seconds cost me that place. It just cost me that place, but yeah, just, yeah. Same with reversal. I think he has a time penalty that w should be removed about 10 seconds, so that'll put him about a second ahead of me. And again, I would have gained that position if, if it wasn't that freaking stupid place I had to give back when I had to slow down. But either way, we managed to finish in front of our title rival, Siaru. Not by much, I think I only gained about a point, but it's better than losing, I guess. Yeah, so we're in the lead about 50 plus points to him still. And I think Cupid's about 60 plus. So we're going to this break in a strong position for this title, but I will be taking it race by race, just like I've done up until now. I won't start thinking about the championship until like maybe the last five or six races, something like that. But yeah, either way. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you have a great Christmas, I know I will be, can't wait really, this breaks come at the right time, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys prefer like commentary or without commentary, just let me know how you like the highlights and I'll just take it from there really, because <laughs> I honestly wouldn't mind if you guys said, oh your, your commentary is really bad, so just don't like, just stick with normal gameplay, just yeah, just let me know, because I honestly hate my voice, so it'd probably be less torture I guess but yeah just let me know hope you guys have a great Christmas and I'll catch you later cheers